How's it everyone? This is Lockerholt and in today's video we're going to be crafting an MF amulet. The modifiers we are looking for are going to be increased rarity of items found similar to the helmet we made last time and then also a shaper influence modifier increased quantity of items found. Now once again this is an absolutely terrible craft because there are no tags on the modifiers we're looking for that we were able to target. We can't use fossils, we can't use essences or harvest. So we're just gonna have to kind of hit it and hope that we hit something good. So quantity is a suffix and also rarity is both a prefix and a suffix. So what I'm hoping to get is quantity and tier one rarity as suffixes. Then we can do the prefixes. Maybe we get lucky like the helmet where we hit both at the same time spoiler alert but i reckon we're gonna do the same thing let's just get some essences see what we have lying around and just instead of chaos spamming it hit it with something like that and see what we can get so over on the amulets we've got cold damage to attacks which is a prefix we could use this this is actually nice for the build because it balances out trinity so i'm going to start with this and then see, the only problem with this is that this is a prefix and I am looking to do the prefixes and suffixes separately, but maybe we hit rarity and quant and this, unlikely, but this is better than a chaos orb, right? So, oh, wow, first one, we hit quantity. This is tier two and there is no rarity on this one. So let me actually type quant like that. And then we're just going to spam and hope. Now, once again, this video is bankrolled by Hots and Dots. Also, big shout out to Nemsi and Trance for their contributions to the channel. Let's see what we can get. There is Tier 1 Rarity. Hmm. Tier 1 Rarity. I'm wondering... No, I was thinking of exalting this to see if we hit quant, but the chance of that is so low. I don't know why I don't shift click these. There is tier one rarity as a, no, tier two rarity as a prefix. Oh, reservation efficiency of skills. For Chaos Spam, the chance to hit Tier 1 Quant and Tier 1 Rarity with Chaos Orbs is about 1 in 5,000. So, yeah, we might have to settle here. Let's go for... Let's go for some Crit Multi and Crit Chance. Might as well. So, each of these essences that I'm using have another modifier that would be useful to my build so that's why i'm just kind of using whatever this one's got crit multi we've got strength we've got cold damage we have a whole lot of things so let's see what we get still just on the lookout for quant and maybe rarity if we get lucky no quant ouch this one is adding strength, which is another useful suffix for the build. Nada. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. Good chance. The problem with this is we need to get something really nice to compete with Biscos. And so far, not good. I'm using Essence of Rage, which guarantees strength suffix, which is useful for the build, frees up some points on the tree. And well, we continue on the hunt for quant. And I bought about 170 of these for 4x. So we got a lot of attempts. And let's hope we get something good. Good chance. Why must Quant have such a low weight? 
I guess we just spam this. I'm kind of looking out for other modifiers like rarity in case we hit two tier one rarity rolls, but without quant, it's kind of pointless. So we kind of have to hit that quantity. Another problem with this method over chaos orbs is this guarantees a suffix which means that we are only guaranteed two empty suffixes when we roll the item which further reduces our chance of getting quantity but the upside is we are guaranteed oh baby oh no why would you do this tier two tier two oh no <laughs> can i roll past this is it even possible to roll past this? This is so nice. The chance of hitting this is ridiculously low, even though it is tier two. You know what? Let's let the annul decide. The annul will decide what we do next. If we hit a suffix, we're good. If we hit a prefix, wait, no, other way around. We hit a suffix. Let's look at the prices. So I was on the trade site price checking this and I found this for 7x. I unfortunately misread it. I thought that that rarity was a suffix, but it is a prefix, which kind of foils my plans. However, this is still really good. What do we do with this though? Oh boy. I'm very tempted to annul the mana, but there's, it's just way too risky. Another thing we could do is just go for a YOLO exalt and try and hit rarity as a suffix. A chance of that is just one in 200 or about one in 80 for any tier, but it's about one, one in 200 to hit the suffix. But I'm not sure what else. Another thing we can do is Suffixes cannot be changed. Ashling. So many options. I think what I'm going to do with this is go suffixes cannot be changed. Ashling and see how we go. If we get absolutely screwed on it, we can just keep going on the other amulet. But I feel like we could hit something pretty nice on this. So let's grab a few X and what we're going to do is lock our suffixes. That just means that when we Ashling, it's going to remove a prefix and not a suffix. We're going to hope that it keeps the rarity. What would be amazing would be if it annuls off the mana. All right, let's see if we get completely screwed. We're hoping to keep that rarity prefix. S tier would be removing the mana. Let's see what we get. And we removed, okay, we removed suffixes cannot be changed, which is not bad. And now we've hit a veiled prefix, which means we can't block anything because our prefixes are full, but maybe we hit life or something like that. Let's see what we get. Maybe some damage. Max life, projectile speed, projectile damage. Hmm... Projectile speed, projectile damage is mighty tempting, but this build is already pretty squishy. It's already pretty damn squishy, so... Let's go with the life for now. And then to finish this one off, we can craft on... There's lots of things we could craft on. We could craft on attributes, resistances, attack speed. Minimum charge is also very nice. There's actually a lot of things we could craft on this. We can go I, attack speed, attack and cost speed. I'm happy with this for now. This is pretty damn good. It's got tier one quantity, tier one strength, life, tier one rarity as a prefix, and attack and cost speed and open suffix. So we can see how this actually improves our quantity is now 73 percent to 30 rarity and i believe yeah let's see so rarity goes up by 50 about or about 
46, quantity goes up by 10. This is really nice. This is a super nice amulet. I'm pretty stoked with this. And it also frees up a point on our tree, which we can do like that. We could also unspec that and then craft on intelligence here. So this actually frees up two points. This is a very nice little amulet. Just leave it for now. And I'm stoked with that, but let's see. Let's see if we can hit something else on this. If not, well, I'll cut the video to the end. <laughs> but I would actually like to craft something from beginning to end all by myself. We are out. I'm wondering what other techniques we can employ. We could just go for straight up chaos spam, which is disgusting. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> I haven't chaos spammed an item in ages, but... Well. Okay, 7% quantity. No, we keep hitting tier 2. This would have been so nice. Oh, no. Here's quantity and rarity. You know what I would like to do with this? Is reforge more common and see what we can get. Maybe we can maybe we can get something nice by doing this. Quantity, rarity. Oh wow. Nice, thanks. Well, reforge more likely came through and well we hit this, which is quant tier two rarity. Chance to gain an, a power frenzy or endurance charge on kills really nice. Damage over time completely useless. <sighs> Since we have... Oh man, this is such a freaking weird craft. Such a weird craft. I'm going to go for an annul. And I'm going to do the thing where you craft on because it supposedly increases your odds. So, and now we are looking to annul. Damage over time. Armor... All mana. I'm just trying to think, like, what do we do after that? Let's give this a quick price check. Yeah. Rarity, quantity. Rarity, quantity. The power of frenzy and endurance charge on kills really nice. Screw it. It's, it's late in the league. Everyone's playing events at this point. I've got a good amulet already. Let's go for the null. And we remove the rarity. You know what? GGG. You win this round. This video has been long enough already. Rarity crafting is a nightmare. There's no way to target anything. Please, please GGG. If you're going to add in a whole lot of chase uniques and make old modifiers relevant please make a way for us to target them otherwise it's just chaos spam and essence spam with no control over it i get why maybe you wouldn't want to have a very high value mod a very strong mod like damage over time make that hard to target but quantity and rarity maybe maybe just add like a fossil or something that'd be pretty cool but anyway this is our final result. I guess this is the amulet we made. It has tier one quantity, it has strength, it has intelligence, it has tier one rarity, and we hit the life with Ashling. I'm very happy with this. So if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. We also have a Discord. You can find the link to that in the description below. And I have a Twitch. If you wanna follow me there, give me a follow on Twitch. And if you really love the channel, I have a Patreon. But anyway, have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay safe and good luck crafting your own rarity gear, I guess. If you have any tricks, let me know. Because, I don't know, this just feels like rolling the dice and praying. Take care. Bye-bye.